Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. I am walking to the gym. I cannot tell you how happy I am to be going back to the gym. If you didn't know, I just got some color put in my tattoo last Thursday, and I have to take several days of no sweating. As so I couldn't go to the gym, I just had to focus on walking outside. And last week, I also missed an upper body workout. So normally, Mondays, I drive to the gym and do lower body. Because I miss my upper body workout and I miss upper body, it's my favorite, favorite workout. I'm going to walk to the gym today, do upper body and walk home. So that is what we are doing. It is currently about 5.35 in the morning. I have to wait till it's light out obviously to walk and we're going to have a killer, killer workout at the gym. We have a busy day today. I have some new recipes and foods to share with you. Lots of good stuff today. So if you're excited, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I'd love to have you here. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching. I always say, know your macros and calories, have them done, invest in yourself. Such a huge game changer for weight loss. And if you wanna talk with me directly, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come join us, we'd love to have you. So I'm going to finish my gorgeous walk to the gym. home. I'm home from the gym. I'm ready for the day. I decided since I'm not going anywhere today with the exception of the post office, we'll be going to the post office a little bit later today. I'm just going to go ahead and wear my gym clothes. My leggings are from Amazon. These are actually the leggings that I shared with you guys in last week's What I Eat in a Day. I'm obsessed with these leggings and you can get them for about $20. So I'll link them down below. My shirt I actually got at Kroger. It's the Dip brand and it's just kind of like one of those muscle tanks. I actually really like it. It's super comfortable, fits really, really well. So I'm just going to stay in my gym clothes today because again, I'm not going anywhere. So I finished my 6 a.m. run post-workout supplement. I did, I'll link that down below for you guys. It is full of all BCAAs and things that you need after working out. It is something I have to have, especially on strength training days because it helps with muscle recovery and soreness. I actually just ordered the lemon lime flavor because I've been having the watermelon now for a while and I love it. I truly love that product. So I'll link that for you, but I need some food. I need some food. So I'm going to have one of the Thomas English muffins and cinnamon raisin. After I work out, I like to have a carb, fat, protein based meal or second breakfast. I did have my protein coffee this morning, as you saw. So I'm going to toast up one of the cinnamon raisin English muffins. I'm going to top it with a little bit of light butter. And then I'm going to have some good culture cottage cheese. You already know this is my favorite cottage cheese. And I have some leftover crushed pineapple from my meal prep. So I'm going to have cottage cheese, pineapple, and an English muffin for breakfast. It's breakfast time, so I have my Good Culture Cottage Cheese with the crushed pineapple. I ended up doing about 155 grams of the cottage cheese. A serving is 110, so it's about a serving and a quarter, which is fine. I used up the rest of it. It'll give me a big punch of protein. 50 grams of the crushed pineapple. I have gotten a few questions on the crushed pineapple because like I said, I shared it in my meal prep. 
Fruit in its natural juices, if you drain it, is zero points. So I count my crushed pineapple as zero points. As you know, WW is a tool, so you count it however you want, but I do count it as zero points. I obviously count the calories for it as well. And then I have, this looks so good, my English muffin with one tablespoon of light butter spread between both halves. I'm really excited for this. I love English muffins. It's such a great source of carbohydrates before or after a workout. Oh yeah, everything I wanted it to be. I just finished my breakfast and I'm going to sit down at my desk for a little while, do some work. I have lots of people who have ordered personalized macros and calories, so I need to get questionnaires sent out and start calculating macros. If you, didn't, if you haven't had your personalized macros and calories done, I seriously cannot recommend it enough. It has been the catapult for my weight loss. I struggled on WW, and when I really started tracking macros, tracking calories, eating enough protein, that was when the magic happened, and my weight has just steadily went down, and I've been able to maintain my weight loss. It is so important, and like I said in my Q&A video that went up on Sunday, part two of my q and I'll link part one and part two down below. You have to see them. I answer literally over a hundred different questions on weight loss and lifestyle and answer a lot of the mean comments and questions that I get. So definitely check that out. But in those videos, I talk a lot about investing in yourself. And part of investing in yourself is having your macros and calories done because it really is what helps you lose weight sustainably, healthy, helps fix your relationship with food, stopping binge eating, really remembering that food isn't bad or good and that nothing is off limits. It's really a huge, huge game changer and catapult for weight loss. So take advantage of that. I will go ahead and put my nutrition coaching website here on the screen and it is always always down in the description box so you can order your macros and calories off of my website I seriously can't recommend it enough in my morning coffee this morning you saw my completed coffee you saw that I added a premier protein no my premier protein is not recalled I get that a lot whenever I share premier protein but my particular ones that I have are not on the recall list that's a great way for me to start my day with 30 grams of protein and as you know if you follow my channel I put collagen in my coffee every morning from collagen for her and I put two tablespoons of just better fiber which is my favorite fiber supplement it doesn't cause bloating for me it dissolves there's no grit there's no flavor well they just came out with a new product and I share this in my Facebook group and you guys in my Facebook group love this product and ordered like crazy but I wanted to share it here on YouTube too because this is so incredibly exciting so just better fiber just came out with these to-go packets if you travel a lot, if you're someone that picks up coffee at Starbucks or Dunkin' in the morning, or if you make your cup of coffee in the office, or if you just want to have fiber on the go, I mean, you can literally mix this in water because there's no flavor, no grittiness. These to-go packets are such a genius idea. This is an 18 pack of stick packets. Each packet is a tablespoon of just better fiber. So you could add as many packets as you want. Like I said, I put two tablespoons in my coffee every morning. I am so excited. She finally was able to release these. It is so easy just to throw one of these little to-go packets in your purse, in your car, keep them in your desk drawer. I have a lot of trips coming up throughout the rest of this year. So I've already thrown a whole pack of the Just Better sticks into my luggage because I can have them add this to my coffee on the go. You can mix this into food. Like I said, you can even mix it into water. Really, really excited that she's finally able to put these out. So I'll link Just Better Fiber down below for you with the discount. These are currently on sale on her website and with the link and code down below, you can double dip your discount. So if they're on, since they're on sale, you can add an extra 10% off such a great, great deal. It is a small business, a woman owned business out of Seattle, Washington. The owner, developer, entrepreneur, Kristen is so sweet. So definitely support her. Pick up the Just Better Fiber. These to-go packets, I can't get enough of them. I literally have like 10 packages. So I'm back with some more organizing. You guys have been loving seeing me doing a lot of home organization. It's been something that's been on my bucket list since we bought this house. My kitchen and the rest of my home organized, completely organized, especially my drawers, because I tend to just throw things in my drawer and they have no rhyme or reason. And then it frustrates me when I open the drawer and can't find anything. I'm sure you can relate. So I ordered these 
Drawer divider systems in premium bamboo from Good Pick. Now, I've shared a few products from Good Pick. My laundry hamper, the big basket I store my blankets in, in my spare room. Those are all from Good Pick as well. I really like this brand, super, super high quality. So I decided to get one of their bamboo drawer organizers because, like I said, I still have a lot of drawers in my home that need some organization. They're really easy to use, they come with full instructions and they're high quality bamboo drawer organizers, which I love the aesthetic of bamboo, just of wood in general, and they last forever. Much better than a lot of the plastic ones that you can buy, you know, at Walmart, TJ Maxx, or Ross. These are a million times better quality. You're going to receive four drawer organizer systems, and then you have the dividers in different shapes and sizes to divide out the different spots in the drawer. So you can customize it for what you need, whether you need a smaller divided space or a larger divided space, you can use these drawer dividers in your kitchen, your closet, your pantry. You can even use them in your sock and underwear drawer or in your clothing drawers. They're really, really versatile really high quality, very heavy weight, which I appreciate. They even come with labels, which I love that, so that you can actually label what is in your drawer. So for example, if you were using this in a junk drawer, you could put labels, so batteries, pens, you know that type of thing, you can label the spots, and there is room right on top to put the labels that come with the drawer divider set. One other thing I really like these about these are how customizable they are. So you can see this little wood pin right here so if you press on the end where the black is, it expands so that you can make it fit whatever size drawer you have. I absolutely love that. That's what makes these 100% customizable. When you buy the inexpensive plastic ones, they're just the size that they are and you have to try your best to find one that actually fits your drawer and these ones are fully adjustable. So this is my junk drawer. Now granted, I have a plastic organizer but it is so old and warped. It doesn't fit the space so I have all this extra space over here on the side that I could actually organize and divide things out a little bit better. This junk drawer was in perfect shape when we moved here and this is just what naturally happens. So I'm going to use my Good Pick drawer organizer and make this look a million times better than it is, a lot more organized, more aesthetically pleasing. It's just going to be so much better overall. Okay, I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful this is. This Good Pick drawer organizer looks like custom. It looks like this was custom made to fit my drawer. I do have a few extra slats, but I used a good amount of them. Like I said, you can change the size of all the openings because there are so many options for you to put in your slats. I love this, I love it, I love it, I love it. I feel really good when I open this drawer because it is much more organized. I will link the Good Pick Drawer Organizer down below for you with a discount. Highly recommend, I mean, I think my beautiful, aesthetically pleasing drawer speaks for itself. It is time for lunch. I am hungry. It is 11.30 and the last thing I ate obviously was breakfast. So I'm going to put together kind of a hodgepodge lunch, throwing together everything that just sounds really good. This is something I do a lot is I think about what sounds good and then I piece together my meal. That's part of the reason why I always have a lot of options in my house. Whether it comes to snacks or meals, I like to have a variety so that I can kind of piece together what sounds good. So what we're doing for lunch today is I have my barbecue chicken, my Hawaiian barbecue chicken that I made in meal prep for tacos, but I'm not having a taco today. I'm going to I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to have 4 ounces of my barbecue chicken and I'm going to top that with some light shredded cheese 
to no surprise to anybody, of course I'm having some cucumbers. And then I decided that I was going to have some of the fried pickle and ranch dip from Taste of the South. This dip is so good and I'm going to have it with a serving of the Trader Joe's multi-grain pita crackers. These two things together, mm, I love them. It is such a good combination. And then I'm feeling a little bit of a sweet tooth so I'm, I'm also going to have two of my peanut butter Catalina crunch cookies. I shared these in last week's What I Eat in a Day. I actually did an entire taste test for you guys, so I'll link that video down below, and I'll link Catalina Crunch with a 15% discount. So, like I said, we've got a hodgepodge, but let's put together our lunch. So here's my lunch and I'm pretty excited about it. So I have my chicken with some cheese. I ended up doing 14 grams, which is half of a serving of the cheese. It's perfect just to add that little bit of yumminess to the chicken. I have my Catalina Crunch cookies, one serving, which is 10 of the pita chips, two tablespoons of the dip, and some cucumbers. It's like an adult Lunchable. It looks so good, so satisfying. I have protein, carbs, healthy fats, a veggie. I can't wait. I'm getting out of the house for a couple of minutes. I've been doing macros all day. I have been on coaching calls all day and I need another coffee. I'm definitely needing a coffee. Troy is still gone golfing. So I am going to run to Duncan, pick up an iced Americano, and then I have to run to the post office because I have a ton of packages to mail out. I have my two Just Better Fiber giveaways. I have some clothes to return to Shein. Stay tuned. I have another try on haul coming. And then this box is actually the giveaway for the challenge group that I run on Facebook. So coffee, post office, and then back home. Also what came in the mail right before I walked out the door was my Amazon order. I have a new protein powder. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm so excited. So we're going to make a protein shake for an afternoon snack. I also got in some protein shakes like pre-made ones off of Amazon that I've really been loving. So we'll do a little, little haul when I get home and fingers crossed there's one more item coming today that I'm excited to share with you. And I didn't mention earlier, but I have a really good dessert recipe brand new. We're going to test it out. We got a lot happening today. So let's go grab a coffee and run to the post office. I have a pickup order for Jen Clayton. All right. Drive up, Jen. Thank you. So I have secured the good. So I did a, something a little bit different today. I always do an iced Americano with an extra shot of espresso. Otherwise, it is not coffee enough for me. Duncan loves to add cream in and it's just never very coffee tasting. So that extra shot of espresso helps. I always do light on the cream. So two creams instead of three. And today I did two of the pumpkin swirl regular syrup, two sugar-free hazelnut. It's so good together. It's like a pumpkin nut, kind of like pumpkin bread vibes. So Super, super good. That is today's order. I'm feeling, I'm feeling all the fall vibes. Okay, this is delicious. This is one of the best coffees I have gotten from Duncan. It's sweet. I think next time I would do one of the regular pumpkin instead of two because it's pretty sweet, but the hazelnut and the pumpkin together, yes, please. And I don't even like hazelnut by itself, but this is incredible. So I just got home from the post office and I had the mother load of packages. Everything I was hoping would arrive today arrived. So we're gonna go through it. Actually, even more stuff that I ordered is here. Perfect timing for this afternoon snack. So let me show you all my good stuff that showed up and we're actually gonna do a taste test because guess what I have? Brand new fall flavors of American Dream Nut Butter. Now they came out with four flavors. Two of them were cashew butters, two of them were almond butters. I ended up just ordering the almond butter because the cashew butter just isn't my favorite. I know that that is the minority. Most people really love the cashew butter. I really love the almond butter and the peanut butter. So first I ordered pumpkin 
in cheesecake. And then this one sounds so good. This is the big apple. So we're gonna taste test both of these. And then I restocked my 6 a.m. run. This is exactly what I showed you guys this morning. And I had mentioned that I had ordered the lemon lime. 6 a.m. run finish line, which is a post-workout supplement that has BCAAs, which are branched chain amino acids. So it helps with muscle recovery soreness i always get the watermelon but i wanted to try the lemonade so that came today i'm really excited about that it is zero points there are 50 servings in the container so it lasts forever everything i share with you i'll link it down below for you some of it i can give you some of it i have discounts for as well so definitely check out the description box and then i restocked my greens because i'm almost out of my green apple one up nutrition green so this time i got their new flavor raspberry lemonade now i love the apple the green apple is so good but i wanted to try the new flavor zero points for this as well and this is fantastic if you struggle getting in greens or if you just can't handle gross grass tasting greens these actually taste really good they taste like fruit and it's a full serving of your greens and reds and your superfoods so i just throw this in my water bottle fill it up add some ice shake it up and it dissolves really really well and i think it and it tastes really good as well it's the only green supplement i can handle so i got a restock of that and then whenever you order from one up nutrition you get to pick two samples last time i got two samples of some of the different flavors of greens but this time i got protein powder samples because not only do they have greens but they have pre-workout post-workout greens and protein powder so i have the chocolate and peanut butter blast so it is 23 grams of protein and 127 calories. And then I wanted to try this because I haven't found a brand that I really like that has a fruity cereal. And this is 109 calories, 25 grams of protein. And both of these actually have BCAAs in them. So they're really good again for post-workout. You know, making a protein shake and drinking your 6 a.m. run finish line would be perfect post-workout. So I'm really excited to try these. I will save these for what I eat in a day so that we can test them out together. And then I restocked my muscle milk vanilla cream protein shakes. I discovered these during Prime Day. I love them. I shared them in a video. If you like sweet coffee or sweet protein shakes, you will love them. I don't wanna open this up, but I actually have one in my fridge, so I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the protein shake right here. So it's the Muscle Milk Zero Sugar Vanilla Cream, 25 grams of protein, 160 calories. I love it. I really, really like this protein shake. For me, this tastes good by itself, and I really love it in coffee. So I picked up another case, but I'm really excited about this. If you guys remember in last week's What I Eat in a Day, I made a protein shake using the Ascent chocolate protein powder, the little packet that I had bought at Sprouts. I wanted to test it out, make sure it wasn't disgusting before I invested in a full bag, but I loved it. I love, love, loved it. The taste was so good. There was no protein taste, no sweetener taste, no aftertaste, and I already have a chocolate protein powder, and I heard from one of you guys that they sell it on Amazon. So I hopped over to Amazon. By the way, this is super affordable for as clean of a protein powder as this is. And there were so many flavors on there. I was like a kid in a candy store. Couldn't decide on the flavor, but look at what flavor I got. Lemon sorbet. Yes, I love lemon anything. And I thought, how good would this be with blueberries in a protein shake? So that is what I'm gonna have for an afternoon snack today. We're going to try the lemon sorbet out. We're going to make a, a fruity protein shake. Like I said, I have chocolate powder, vanilla powder, the Chips Ahoy from Ghost. I have a peppermint bark from PE Science. So I decided to get something fruity. Now this particular protein powder really clean ingredients. So if you want a protein powder that's affordable but has clean ingredients, can't recommend this enough. This is whey protein isolate blend that has native whey protein isolate, whey protein and whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, natural flavors. That's the only thing that's a little questionable in the protein shake. Sunflower lecithin, stevia leaf, which is better than any of the other sweeteners like sucralose, Splenda, any of those, and sea salt. That's it. And the chocolate was so incredibly delicious. I just, I, I, I really had to have the vanilla. I'm so excited. Really affordable, cheaper than a lot of the crummy ingredient protein powders out there. Everything I just shared with you will be linked down below. 
But we're gonna have this for an afternoon snack. And then before I have dessert tonight, because I'm trying out a new dessert recipe, at that time we'll do a taste test of the American Dream Nut Butters because fall is here. Is daddy home? Oh, <gasps> is he home? <laughs> oh, I know, Lala, he's, yeah, I know. Say, we're patiently waiting. Patiently, very impatiently. Hey, Lola, it's okay. I know, I know you're excited, baby. We're just waiting for him to come in the garage door. Yeah, woohoo! You guys gotta move so daddy can get in. Yay, daddy's home! All right, it is treat time. Whenever we come home, our dogs get treats, so daddy's gonna give them a treat. First, he pulled out the dog food. No. So, treats for everybody! Treats for everybody! <gasps> you see? Sit, Tiso. Good job, buddy. I know it's hard for you, Baba. Good Who's job. <gasps> Pumpkin, good sit. Easy. Easy. Good job. Oh, that's it. Shake. Shake. Oh, good job, honey. Okay, we're making our protein shake. We're trying the new Native Way Lemon Sorbet Protein Powder. I'm so excited. I hope this is as good as the chocolate. And it's going everywhere, all over me. Okay, so first I'm gonna weigh out eight ounces of milk for my protein shake. I'm using the Fairlife. I still have the 2% because they were out of the low fat when I shopped. I have the low fat now, but I'm going to use this up. So we'll do eight ounces. Ooh, it smells so good. One scoop of the lemon protein powder. And I'm going to use fresh blueberries because I don't have any frozen. I'm gonna do about 60 grams of fresh blueberries. I'll throw in a couple cubes of ice and we'll blend it up and try it out. Make sure the ice is blended. I don't like ice chunks in my protein shake. Don't spill it. Whoa. She's full. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mmm. It's super lemony. It actually tastes like lemon meringue pie, like the filling or lemon curd. It is really good with the blueberries. Oh my gosh, this is so good. That's so good. Yeah. So that's the lemon sorbet from Native Fuel. I'll link this down below again for you guys. I just buy it off of Amazon. Super affordable, really good. For dinner tonight, I am making a Philly cheesesteak skillet. I'm super excited for this. You could pair this with any carb side of your choice, rice, potatoes, but let me show you what's in dinner. First, you're going to need some light butter, beef broth, a pound of 93 or 96% extra lean ground beef, an onion, three bell peppers, a green, a yellow, and a red, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my really cool gravity-fed salt and pepper grinders down below for you. Off of Amazon, super affordable, we love them. You'll need some garlic powder and some light mozzarella cheese. So the first thing I'm going to do is dice up my onion and my bell peppers. So the first thing we're going to do is cook up our pound of ground beef. Once your ground beef is cooked, go ahead and drain any excess fat, put it in a bowl, and set it aside. To the same pan, we're adding one tablespoon of light butter. And then we're going to add in our onions. Cook those down for a couple of minutes before we add in the bell peppers. Now go ahead and add in your bell pepper and we're going to cook it for about two to four minutes. We want to make sure that the onions and the bell peppers are softened. Now we're going to add back in the ground beef. Quarter cup of beef broth. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Some garlic powder, salt, and pepper. And then you're going to allow that to cook down. Let that sauce reduce a little bit. 
And lastly, we're adding one and a half cups of light shredded mozzarella right on top and allow that to melt and dinner is ready. I didn't mention in the beginning, but this is a one pot recipe. I mean, literally everything was made in one single pot. Super, super easy. It took me less than 20 minutes to make this meal. So here is dinner. Doesn't this look so incredibly delicious? My favorite part of the Philly cheese is the sauteed bell peppers and of course the ground beef and the cheese. I mean, who doesn't love the cheese? Let me go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner. I am not having any carb with this. I'm not gonna add anything to it because I have a really good dessert that I wanna share with you guys and we need to taste test those new American Dream Nut Butters. So this is going to be my dinner. I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. All right, as promised, I'm going to be sharing a brand new dessert with you. But first, we're going to taste test one of the new American Dream Nut Butters. We're going to use the second one for our dessert. So we're going to taste test the Big Apple Almond Nut Butter. This particular one is two tablespoons for 100 and can't read that 160 calories here's what it looks like I'm going to stir it up it does have oil that naturally settles to the top and most of the mix-ins fall to the bottom during shipping so make sure you're stirring your nut butter up really well and another question I get all the time is does it have to be refrigerated no you can just leave it in your cabinet I don't know if you can see the mix-ins but there is chunks of apples and cinnamon it looks like little cookie bits so I want to taste test and get some of the mix-ins. Oh, it, sm it smells like apple pie. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. There's like crust in it. There's actual little bits of apples and little bits of pie crust. It's really good. Per the usual with American Dream Nut Butter, it is super, super delicious. This nut butter actually has less points and calories than traditional butters. And the almond butter and the peanut butter have fairly good ingredients. Eight grams of protein, seven carbs, and 12 grams of fat. And for our dessert, we're actually going to use the pumpkin cheesecake almond butter. This one's 152 calories for two tablespoons, 7.2 grams of protein, 4.6 grams of carbs, and 11.3 grams of fat. Again, it is separated, so I'll get it all mixed up. And let me share with you a new dessert idea. So for the dessert, you're going to need a caramel rice cake. Now with this particular recipe, you can use any other ingredients, but the base of the dessert is one of the Quaker caramel rice cakes. And I'm going to do a pumpkin caramel vibe. So I'm going to do the caramel rice cake and then I'm going to use a tablespoon of the American Dream nut butter and pumpkin cheesecake. You could really use any nut butter, but I highly recommend American Dream. It is so good. And then I'm going to add a drizzle of this pumpkin spice syrup. I actually found this at TJ Maxx. I'll see if I can find it online. Zero calories. You could also melt down some Lily's chocolate chips and drizzle that over the top if you wanted some chocolate. You could use butterscotch chips. You could really do any kind of topping you could even use whipped topping low sugar chocolate sauce I mean the possibilities are endless but like I said I'm going for more of that pumpkin caramel vibe so let me go ahead and pull out my rice cake so I'm going to weigh out one tablespoon of the pumpkin cheesecake nut butter which is 14 grams and then spread that nice and even over your rice cake and then I'm going to drizzle over the pumpkin sauce Oh, this looks so good. Look at how delicious this looks. I was thinking it would be fun to add some chocolate chips or something to it as well, but let's try it out. Let's taste test that pumpkin cheesecake almond butter. All right. The almond butter is really good. I taste pumpkin, I taste cheesecake. The caramel of the rice cake adds that nice crunch and extra sweetness. I will say, I don't love the pumpkin spice sauce or topping. The first time I tasted it, the first bite, it had a really artificial taste to it, kind of like a plasticky artificial taste to it. The second bite, it was a little bit better. I definitely get the spiciness and the pumpkin. I just don't know that I love it. I mean, like I said, the second bite was better. Okay, it's not bad. 
It's better the more that I eat it. Maybe it was just the initial bit that was on top that had that weird taste. Because when I just tasted it, just the sauce itself, it actually tastes really good. This is delicious. The American Dream Nut Butter on a Caramel Rice Cake, you, you can't go wrong. And I actually do like the pumpkin spice sauce. It's not my favorite thing in the whole world, but I'll use it. And I was thinking it would be really good on ice cream and things like that too. So this is such a fantastic dessert. Like I said, I'll link American Dream Nut Butter down below with 10% off. And I'll see if I can find this maybe on the Skinny Serps website or somewhere online and I'll link it for you as well. Really quickly too, speaking of desserts and sweet treats, uh, Smart Sweets came out with a new candy. So they came out with the Smart Sweets Jolly Gems Hard Candy. And it's in green apple, peach, and pink lemonade. You can have three pieces for 60 calories, and I'll put the points here on the screen for you. They're really good. I've been eating them. You can see my package was open. Here's what they look like. They look like just traditional round hard candy. So if you're a hard candy lover, you just like to have something to chew or suck on in your mouth, then these actually are really good for that. And they have one gram of sugar per three pieces, which is not bad at all. Like I said, I've really liked them. I've been eating them on and off. I have to say my favorite flavor is the peach, but the green apple and the pink lemonade are really good. I mean, all of them are really good. So I'll, I don't know if these are in store yet. I got these online. So I'll also put Smart Sweets in the description box with 10% off. All right, so that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. We got to test out new protein powder, new American Dream Nut Butter, a new dessert. It was a really good day. And dinner, by the way, was absolutely filling and delicious. It would be really good to just add that mixture to a hoagie roll or a bun if you want that whole Philly situation. It would be really good added to some bread as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload a What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday and lots and lots of new videos, five every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box for everything that I shared with you in today's video, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and come over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.